another episode of Mike Cook Stuff. Um, if you seen my post earlier in Google Plus and Facebook, I'll be cooking goose breast today. Um, I got a couple legs, but I'm not going to cook them. Um, it seems like every time I cook the legs with the breast, they always come out tough. I've even tried to bake them. I've tried a couple different things. So I'm not going to waste my time with them. Um, it's actually snow goose. Most people usually use uh, canning geese, but um, since probably two or not 2000, probably 1980s, early 90s, uh, the snow geese population moved into Delaware and just completely took over the Canadians and actually drove them out. They're actually starting to come back now um, because they put a lot of regulations on during the hunting season for um, for Canadian geese. Um, but most of the geese that are in Delaware now um, are snow geese. And even with the Canadian geese, most of what you're going to get out of it is the breast meat. There's not much more on the legs, and that's about it. Um, basically, just like a dove. Anybody that hunts knows when you dove, you just peel the breast off. It's the same thing we do with the with the snow geese. We just pull the breast off and cook the breast meat. Um, I'm going to be cooking them in um, with apples and in orange juice. Um, a lot of people don't like that wild game flavor, whether it's uh, waterfowl or deer or whatever. Um, I grew up with it. I like it, but I'm going to cook it the way most people like it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to be cooking it with apples and orange juice. Um, that seems the... Um, a lot of times if people cook an actual whole goose or a whole duck, a lot of times they'll take um, an apple or an orange and put it inside of it and stuff it, uh, kind of like a stuffing. And uh, then when you cook it, it gives it a flavor. Um, basically, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to be cooking it in the pan with the orange juice and the apples instead of stuffing it because all we have is the actual breast. We don't actually have the full bird. Go ahead and get this stuff cut up and then get my pan heated up and we'll get cooking. All right, so we got our goose breast on the plate in the sink. Uh, we got our Bertoli's olive oil. We got seasonal. We got the orange juice and we got the apples. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and get our pan heated up. And then we'll get our oil in it. Uh, while we're waiting for our pan to heat up, we'll go ahead and start cutting up our apples. Um, nothing really fancy on the apples. Just want to cut them in half. Cut them in quarter slices, about like that or so. I said so this is just flavor, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not uh, baking or anything like that, so we're not going to be keeping the apples. We don't want to use a, a, a lot of the olive oil, just enough to uh, wet the bottom of the pan because um, uh, we, when we first started cooking we just want to uh, sear them and then we'll pour our orange juice in. Um, once you get your apples and your orange juice in, you're almost boiling it, uh, you're not really frying it. Um, so like I said, I just want to put a little bit of oil in there just enough to sear each side of the meat. Um, so our pan's nice and hot. So we'll go ahead and get our breast meat. Just a little bit of seasoning, don't take much. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish cutting our apples. We're not going to put them in yet. Apples cut up. I'm just going to go ahead and sear these both sides of these real quick. As you can see, these are nice and seared on both sides. Um, so we're right ready to put, put our apples and orange juice in. Just want to kind of sprinkle the apples around just a little bit. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to go ahead and start pouring some more orange juice in. Let's shake this up some more. So as you can see, we got our apples and our orange juice in there. Um, you want to put quite a bit of orange juice, um, almost about halfway up the side of the meat, not quite covering it, um, because like I said, you're going to put the lid on it, you're going to boil it. Um, that's what's going to finish cooking it. Um, and once again, it's a meat, so you don't want to completely cook it. Um, you want it uh, about a medium rare or, or not quite rare. And um, once it's cooked, set it aside for five minutes and then the heat on the finish cooking it so um, once you get completely done and let it set for five minutes it'll be completely cooked the way you want it um, so we'll go ahead and put the lid on it and then um, we'll go ahead and get a couple of things ready so that when this is done we can plate it up and see how it looks alright so these should be done so I'm going to go ahead and pull these off um, I actually put the legs in um, I hate to waste anything. I'm going to try to cook them. Hopefully they don't come out tough like they usually do, but they usually come out tough. But I put them in anyway when I'm try to cook them. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. And we'll go ahead and set these aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do a baked potato and some spinach. And I'll plate it up and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, there you have it. You have uh, goose breast cooked with apples and orange juice with baked potato and spinach with a little bit of vinegar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go over sit down at the table and give it a taste and see how it, see how it come out. Alright, so we got it all plated up. I'm going to cut off a little piece of the goose breast here. Mm. Perfect. You can still taste the game. You can tell that, it, that it's a, a, um, a burnt fowl. Um, but I can taste the apples and the oranges. A little bit of spinach. Mm. Perfect combination with the spinach. Because with the apples and the orange it makes the meat a little sweet so the spinach actually has a little bit of uh, tart or, or um, sour taste to it so it kind of offsets the, the goose really good combination it turned out really well thanks again for watching another episode of Mike's Cook Stuff please don't forget to subscribe if you like the video like below you guys have a good night and we'll see you next time